Hi, Aaron. Hi, Toby. Can you hear me? I can hear you very clearly. Great. I just want to turn around quickly to see if you've got your PJs on, right? <laughs> <laughs> doesn't, look, doesn't look like it. Aaron, how late, late is it now there? It is 1.30 a.m. in Vancouver right now. 1.30? That's right. Did you guys... I look much better in the daytime, I can tell you. <laughs> that's good, that's good. Um, tell me, did you go to bed or did you stay up until now? I, I've stayed up. I, uh, I'm going to have to drink a Red Bull if you keep me up much <laughs> later to film that. Okay, great, great. And it's great to, to see you and thanks for, for uh, making this commitment to chat with us. And obviously we'll see you in two weeks time and we're really excited about it. Um, can I quickly ask you a first question? Uh, can you explain Alpha to us in you know, a nutshell? Absolutely, Toby. And first of all, let me say we are excited. We can hardly wait to join you and uh, the, the people of Walvis Bay in, uh, in a couple of weeks. Alpha is, uh, the best way I can describe it is that it is uh, a course that I think it has three benefits to it. Number one, it's probably one of the most successful tools for evangelism that we've seen in our church. Uh, we have literally seen, uh, I would say, in the thousands come to faith through our Alpha course over the last 12 to 14 years. Um, not, you know, and, I, and I'm not bragging on what we're doing, but I'm just saying this is some of the fruit. We, for the last few years, have been probably water baptizing about 100 new believers every year, and largely that comes through Alpha. So it's been very effective for, for reaching the, the unchurched in our community. The second thing that it's been great for is making disciples. And let's face it, that's what Jesus called us to do. He said, go into the world and make disciples of all nations. And, um, and it's really laying a foundation in, in people's lives, building a foundation of faith. Where our church building is in downtown Vancouver, we have one um, hotel right next door to us that is 60 stories high. Right across the street, there's another one that's being built that's over 60 stories high. I want to tell you, Toby, I pray that they have got good foundations in those buildings, because if they ever come over and fall on our building, we'll all be dead. But more importantly, I pray that people that come to faith through our ministry and your ministry have a solid foundation in their faith, because their faith is going to be tested. Yours and mine will be. And it's then that you want to know that you've got a solid and a firm foundation in your faith. So Alpha's been very, very huge for us in that. And then the third thing that we've been very excited to see is that uh, it's been a great tool, probably the best tool in uh, the history of our church of raising up leaders. Just training and equipping people to... Uh, to, to become leaders within the local church. So, so that's, uh, I'm, I'm just giving you a, a, a thumbnail sketch, but that gives you a bit of an idea of, of Alpha. Great, great, thanks. And um, how long have you been doing it, Alan? Well, we've been doing Alpha since 1998 in, uh, in Vancouver. And um, Alpha, I didn't really finish answering this question for you, but it's, it's, a, it's a course that's spread out over 10 to 12 weeks. And when I say laying a foundation, it starts out by asking questions like, who is Jesus? Why was his death so significant? How can I be sure of my faith when I'm putting my faith and confidence in? How do I pray? How does God guide us? And so as you can see, it, it's just kind of laying a foundation step by step. And uh, over a 10 week period of time. And we've been doing it since 1998. We've never seen any exponential growth. We started out, I think, with 14 people in our very first Alpha. Three of them were from a cult, and they were there to try and get us converted to their cult. And I'm not joking when I say that. And after a few weeks, of course, they got discouraged and they quit. And so our numbers were dwindling. But we never got discouraged because we, we just saw the fruit of people coming to faith as a result of it. And so we stayed faithful with it. And each time we ran the next course, the numbers grew a little bit. And uh, we just finished up um, a course a few weeks back. 
and we were averaging 200 to 225 people coming out each week and uh, of those I would say probably a little bit more than 50% of them were unchurched. They were seekers that were there exploring the Christian faith. Um, I'm going to tell me, uh, if you would say when you come and do the training, who should be involved in, in Alpha training? Is it only for specific people or can, when running the course uh, is it possible for everyone, for instance, in a church like, like ours to be involved? I would encourage everyone to come out. Uh, some of our greatest leaders have been uh, our lay leaders for sure. And uh, I would encourage anyone that's interested in, in reaching the, the unchurched to come out and, you know, especially on that first evening, Thursday evening, I would say, come out and join us. It will give you a good taste of what, uh, what the rest of the training will be like. And, and, you know, if you don't come back on Friday night, I'll be offended, but I'm going to get over it. But if you, if you like what you see on Thursday evening, then come back on Friday and Saturday. But that Thursday evening will give you a good experience of, of what's in store over the rest of the training. Okay, fantastic. And you, actually, the, the next question uh, you already answered, uh, I wanted to ask you, do you see Alpha fitting into the, the Great Commission? Toby, let me, uh, let me tell you uh, just one quick story. We were in India about eight months ago training pastors and, and leaders in India on doing the Alpha course. And um, I've never seen such a hunger in my life in, in a community or in a, in a country rather like India that, um, you know, it's such, so many different spiritual influences there. But there was uh, one particular pastor that took the training for Alpha, and he was so excited by it. He lived in a city in, in India called Hyderabad. And Hyderabad is famous for call centers. So people from all over the world, they call um, uh, a bank or whatever, and they'll find themselves actually talking to somebody in a call center in India. And the city that this pastor was in, it was very famous for, for these call centers. And they work very long hours, and he knew that the only way that he would be able to reach these young people who worked in these telephone call centers was to go at a time that would work for them. And so he started an alpha course at 1.30 in the morning uh, in the parking lot outside one of these call centers. And these young people who were working there started coming to faith. And he is now starting a church service in the middle of the night because so many of them came to faith as a result of this Alpha Course. That, to me, is the answer to your question. Are we fulfilling the, the Great Commission uh, with a tool like Alpha? Absolutely. That's what Jesus has called us all to do, is to go into the world and make disciples. And, and so I'm excited about it. We're excited to... Uh, to be with you in just a few short days to uh, share with you how you can make this work uh, there in Walvis Bay. Great, thanks. Um, well, uh, obviously God blessed this pastor's obedience to stay up uh, in, into the morning hours and talk about Alpha. And I hope that it will be the same with you now, that uh, your efforts will be blessed in Walvis Bay. We really look forward to seeing you. I think we're going to slaughter a couple of sheep and uh, get uh, a lot of food ready and uh, we, we, we really want to, um, to receive you not only as guests but we're going to receive you as family in Christ and uh, we're really looking forward to it. I'll speak to you in the second service uh, in about half an hour's time and thanks. Thank you so much. I'm looking forward to it and God bless all of you. I look forward to meeting you. I can just give you a wave quickly. <laughs> Thanks. Okay.